Good Monday morning, guys and gals. Just hadn't brought you an update video in a little while on this house we're working on. So I thought I'd show you a few things. I just grabbed the GoPro this morning. I do have an external mic on it. But it's just quick and easy to grab the GoPro and shoot you a little video. You see we got the kitchen cabinets in. Countertop's not mounted. It's got to be mounted waiting on Jason to get here. I was going to leave the top cabinets on, but after I got the bottom ones in, I just didn't like the looks of the top ones, so I've ordered top cabinets to come in. New tile saw. Just kind of had wore the other one out. Done so much tiling, but the bathroom is tiled. I'm going to start grouting it today. You see I built a couple of shelves in the shower. Tony's removing the last of the spacers. Good morning, you too. And uh, so it's all tiled. Turned out really good. Show you something here that can be done. If you didn't know it could be done. But the closet doors this opening was 47 inches. The closest closet doors I could get was to cover 48 inches. So I had Jason to take this door, put it on a table saw, and cut it. And you rip this off right here, all the way down, so it leaves a hollow opening. He is going to uh, rip a piece of wood glue it in. That way these doors will shut because we lacked a little bit on them shutting. Jason was like, I don't know that you can cut those doors. I think they'll fall out of pieces. And I said, well, we hadn't lost anything. If they do, they do. But you'll notice they didn't fall apart and they're going to work. So if you ever run into that scenario, you know you can rip them. We did it on the table saw. So we could use a guide and get it straight. The wood you see here behind me, this is where the little closet here, water, water heater is in here. We're going, to, we're going to put a wall right here down beside the water heater. It's going to be a wall. Put shelves on this side. He's going to use that wood there to build the doors for that closet. And he's going to burn them and then put polyurethane on them. That way they'll match the bar. The thresholds he's going to build will be like this. So that way they match the bar. The tile saw. I thought I would try a cobalt this time. The last one was a rigid, super saw, no problems out of it. This one has a 10 inch blade. It's a little bigger, a little heavier built saw. The rigid, I had just laid so much tile with it. It had gotten a little bit of slop in the tray. Just with, had a little wiggle in it and you had to be really careful make a straight cut so I just thought I'd update the tile saw I got a lot of tile to lay always got a lot of tile to lay so I thought I'd do that I've also added a 12 amp hour DeWalt battery seeming to be very stout I added this mainly for the table saw and I've also been using it in the DeWalt tower light. I can put it in there and pretty much run all day long on that battery with the DeWalt tower light on high. I'll show you something else. I've added the M18. This is the, I don't know if it says it on there anywhere. The Surge, this is the Surge driver. We're using it 
I'll be doing a review on that on a new tool Tuesday. And I'll give you my thoughts on that. I'm not going to tell you anything right now what we think about it. You'll just have to wait for that. All right, what I've been doing a little bit is I work in this area. Say I'll finish this area up. And then I'll move over here to the other side. And that way Tony can come in and kind of do a little bit of washing on it. I don't like it to get very dry before we start washing it. Because if you do, it's, man, it gets hard to get it off. Do you people get them calls? People trying to sell you extended warranty for your car. But what we do is we have, like Jason just told them, a 1979 Fleetwood Cadillac. We have a Gremlin. We have a, one of them old Ford Pinto station wagons, you know, with the wood sides on it. And they don't never want to insure them. For some reason, they hang up on us. Well, Jason got the cabinets put in. He got them. He got them trimmed out down at the bottom. Countertops mounted. Kyle is all grouted. We've got one washing on it. Jason's down here fixing that door that I showed you where he had cut it off. He just woke me up from a nap, David. I, the other day we were driving down the road, we was all three talking and said, you know, it seems like a lot of times we do things backwards. But then I made this famous speech that I said, well, one of the reasons that we do is we get started on something and then something will reveal itself. Uh, something will show its ugly head and then we have to address that problem. And then a lot of times that problem, you know, when you're dealing with these old houses and a lot of times that problem may lead to something else. And it's kind of the way with the bathroom is we discovered there was a water leak, just barely a pinhole underneath the floor here, squirting up from the bottom. Didn't know we had it, it's just barely a pin hole, probably been doing it a while. So that whole floor was saturated underneath the, the linoleum. So that led to ripping the whole bathroom out, putting in, uh, scabbing new floor joists and putting new two befores in the walls. And, you know, just, that's just the way it goes. It just, um, you know, well, same thing right here with the cabinets. I put these cabinets in, then the cabinets up, up on the wall just didn't, they didn't look good, and neither did they line up with my new cabinets. They just didn't line up good. And the sink wasn't centered with the cabinets, and so we wound up ripping them out, cutting the tile straight across. We're gonna put the cabinets in, then I'll do something else with that little backsplash area right up there that we need to. But that's just kind of the way it goes. You just never know what's going to reveal itself when you do one project. Was that kind of what I said, Jason? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much that you just never know what's going to reveal itself. And that's kind of one of the things that you have to be prepared for when you go into these houses to redo them to the extent we were redoing this. And you think that you're going to do this, this, and this, and walk out of here, and then, you know, like the bathroom led into a whole tile job and a whole new bathroom. Same thing with the cabinets. You know, I was going to replace the bottom cabinets, but then it just wasn't lining up with the top cabinets. And when you work on these old houses, if you plan on taking one step forward, plan on taking two or three steps backwards, too. That's about right. But we can't, everything is square. Everything. In these houses. Perfect. Everything is square. <laughs> Ain't nothing square in them. Ain't nothing level. Anyway, Tony's going to start putting the clean down, smack down on the bathroom and uh, start getting it cleaned up. He's 
ripping up the paper down there that he had the shower covered up with, the shower pan. Hey guys, everybody thought, David and Jason thought we had a ghost, which I don't believe in ghosts. I kept looking and I found our, our uh, noise maker. I kept hearing something earlier in the house. I didn't know what in the world we had in here. It kept making a noise. Tony found it. Jason, where you at? Out here. Playing in the water. You gonna tell them bye? Bye, YouTube. Gonna tell them bye, Tony? See you, YouTube. Guys, y'all have a blessed day.